In 2011, Formula One introduced a technology that would forever change the dynamics of racing. DRS, the drag reduction system, is frequently mentioned during broadcasts, but few fully understand how this ingenious solution works and why it has become so crucial to the spectacle of modern F1. Today, we'll unravel the science behind DRS and how it transformed the races we watch. To understand, we first need to comprehend the problem it solves. An F1 car is an aerodynamic masterpiece designed to generate downforce, the force that pushes the car against the asphalt, allowing impressive speeds in corners. But this same aerodynamics creates a side effect, a wake of turbulent air behind the car. When a driver tries to get close to overtake, their car enters this turbulence. The result? The pursuing car loses up to 35% of its aerodynamic force. The front wings can't bite into clean air. The tires slide more and temperature increases. It's like trying to run against the wind while your opponent runs with the wind at their back. This is the famous dirty air, the biggest obstacle to overtaking in modern F1. DRS is ingeniously simple, a section of the rear wing that can be opened by the driver, temporarily reducing aerodynamic drag. When activated, the upper element of the rear wing lifts up to 70 millimeters, creating an opening that allows air to pass through the wing instead of over it. The result is impressive, a drag reduction of approximately 30%, which translates to a speed gain of 10 to 15 kilometers per hour on the straight. It may not seem like much, but in F1, where thousandths of a second make a difference, it's a significant advantage. The system is activated by the driver through a button on the steering wheel, but can only be used in specific zones of the track, and only when the driver is less than one second behind the car ahead when crossing the detection point. The FIA determines one to three DRS zones at each circuit usually on long straights followed by braking areas. This creates fascinating strategic situations. Another interesting phenomenon is the DRS train. When several cars in sequence all have DRS activated, partially neutralizing the advantage and creating intense battles. When introduced in 2011, DRS was met with skepticism by purists who considered it artificial overtaking. But over the years, it has become an integral part of modern F1's DNA. The numbers don't lie. Before DRS, some races ended with fewer than 10 overtakes. Today, it's not uncommon to see more than 60 in a single race. The system has also evolved technically. Teams have developed increasingly sophisticated wing designs to maximize the effect of DRS when open, while minimizing downforce loss in corners when closed. With the major regulatory changes planned for 2026, Many wonder, will DRS still be necessary? F1 is working on car designs that produce less dirty air, allowing drivers to follow each other more closely naturally. The ultimate goal is to create cars that can overtake without artificial assistance. However, even with these changes, many experts believe some form of DRS will likely remain. What's certain is that DRS represents a fascinating chapter in F1's constant technological evolution, a sport where human ingenuity is always seeking the perfect balance between speed, competition, and spectacle. DRS is more than just a movable flap on a rear wing. It's a perfect example of how F1 uses technology to solve problems and improve the show. The next time you watch a race and hear DRS activated, you'll know exactly what's happening. An ingenious solution to one of motorsport's most complex problems. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content about the fascinating technology behind Formula One. See you at the next race.